Violence and disorder in football are on the rise. The English game has once again been marred by troubling scenes thought to have been lost to a previous era. Police released data this season that showed a 50% increase in arrests at English football grounds. Now, authorities are concerned that a new generation of young risk supporters are coming through in both domestic and national fan bases. In light of this, I travelled to Munich to follow officers from the UK Football Policing Unit as they monitored England fans who had made the trip to watch the national team's Nations League match with Germany. The day before the match, I met with Sergeant Lizzie Lewandowski, one of around a dozen plain-clothed English police officers sent to Munich to work as a spotter. So obviously we don't have any policing powers in Germany, so we're here at the invite from the German police. And our role here is really to assist the German police in terms of calming things down. So obviously we want to be able to have a graduated response to whatever happens here today. So we'll just explain that what's acceptable and what's not acceptable in this country. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Good, good. If we do have bad behaviour abroad, then we evidence gather and look at intelligence packages for when we go back to England, because under the legislation, we're able to apply for football banning orders, things that have happened anywhere in the world, basically. I think we're seeing a rise in lots of things. Uh, I think the national figures reflect that in terms of crime and disorder, antisocial behaviour. And there is a, quite a lot of younger demographic getting involved in that. People that we probably didn't have uh, out and about before COVID who used to support our clubs, or if they did, they weren't behaving in that way. Fans soon began to sing offensive songs about Germany, the Second World War, and the IRA. Songs that this new generation seemed to have inherited. As afternoon turned to evening, fans continued to drink and sing outside bars across Munich. A heavy German police presence had arrived outside the Dubliner Irish bar, where English spotters watched on. Tensions began to rise after the bar closed, and a small section of the remaining supporters began to goad the German police by singing offensive songs. A glass bottle was thrown in the direction of the heavily armoured officers who then moved in to disperse the crowd. While there was no major trouble, authorities said seven England fans had been arrested, including one for throwing the bottle, one for abusing a German police officer, and two for making Nazi salutes, a criminal offence here in Germany. The following day, I sat down with Chief Constable Mark Roberts, the head of the UK Football Policing Unit, to discuss the night before. You know, so we are seeing younger risk groups who are going out intent on causing violence. I think we've got to keep emphasising the influence of alcohol in this. Yeah. You know, you could see the behaviour deteriorating over the course of the evening. We see that back in the UK as well. When we had all the problems in the 80s, and we went from being, you know, the sick man of Europe to people looking at us about how we deal with it. That wasn't just because we arrested lots of people. It's because government gave us the right legislation. It's because the clubs, the leagues, everyone worked together to recognise we had a problem and came up with a shared solution. So if we're going to put the trends back in the right direction, it's going to need that collective effort and everyone working together. And that includes the fans saying they want no part of people giving Nazi salutes to German police, throwing bottles at the German police, condemning it, um, and let's not give the, the idiots the sucker of thinking that the other fans think they're in some way clever. <laughs>